let's say we had a fan or some other spinning object, and let's say we needed to measure its rotational velocity. There are many reasons that we may want to do this, such as calculating whether the speed is within some safety margins, determining efficiency, and more. For one such example, we can consider gear reduction on a fast spinning motor. When designing the gearbox, we cannot easily determine how much reduction we will need without knowing exactly how fast the motor is already spinning, and if we attempt to guess, we will more than likely end up with a gearbox that spins too fast or too slowly. So if we want to measure something's rotational speed, there are many ways to do this. One such way is to measure the frequency of the noise emitted when we place something into the path of the blades. However, this generally requires some tricky math and fiddling with audio editing programs, etc. Usually, it is more preferable to use a contactless method, such as using a laser tachometer, which works by measuring the frequency of a changing reflected laser beam. The pros of these devices include the fact that they are quick and easy to use, and they can be extremely accurate. However, this method relies on automatic signal processing, which can be unreliable, especially in suboptimal conditions. In these situations, it can be beneficial for a person to manually determine the frequency using another optical device known as a stroboscope. The working principle of such a device is as follows. Essentially, if you can only see a spinning object when it is at a certain position in its rotation, it will appear to be motionless. Using this principle, the user of a stroboscope can tune its frequency to match that of a spinning object, and they will know that they have matched it when it appears to stop rotating. We can obtain a stroboscope by purchasing it for a decently high price, and be sure that it will work well. However, this requires a lot of money, and it is also very possible for us to build our own. As you probably already guessed from the title of the video, we will be building one ourselves. I will not go into too much of the technical details, as it makes the already boring video even more boring. The details can be found in the description.